In today's video, I'm going to stores until we find the new 25th anniversary blister packs. I am here at Walmart and today we're gonna to be looking for those 25th anniversary blisters again because last week we couldn't find them, but I've heard that they're in stores from multiple people, so maybe we finally got some. If it's not in Walmart, I'm gonna go check out Target as well. So we'll start with Walmart, see if there are any there, and then if not, we'll go over to Target. My Target never has anything, so probably not. Hopefully it's here. Give us those 25th anniversary blisters, Home and Pharmacy. I believe in you. Wrong 25th. Oh, we have mystery boxes though. Might pick up some of these. Not seeing any of what we're looking for though. There's legendary duelists. There's a lot of power cubes. Don't buy those. They suck. Oh no. I should the bottom. Now they're just restocking. The comments were correct. Oh, Mavens. It's actually pretty good. Mavens is solid. There's a few of these back here. <laughs> so they didn't have any 25th, of course. So I bought every mystery product they have. We're gonna do an every mystery product opening. And I'm also gonna to go to other Walmarts and see if we can find those 25th. All right, it's time to give Target a chance to see if they have any of the 25th. They never have anything, but maybe today is the day. Let's go check it out. Oh, 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 oh. double packs. Two pack, one card, let's go. Yeah, so I've, let's just grab a couple of these because we need them. We need some luck. All right, we found them in Target, shockingly, but $12.99, ouch, like $14.12 after tax. That is pretty rough for two packs and like a random bonus card, but we'll find out if it's worth it. Let's head back to the studio and find out. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Yamada Dragon from Legacy of Darkness. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what you think about these new blisters. Are they too expensive? Are they fun? Are you gonna grab some? Do you have them in your area? We have the new blister packs, which seem to contain LOB and PSV, and then one variant card. Two legendary packs plus bonus, so we'll see what that means. The products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer, purchased from the secondary market, repackaged for retail sales by the Fairfield Company. Fairfield Company, them, and MJ Holding are the two big ones doing this kind of stuff. Contents include the following. Two legendary packs plus one bonus. It just says bonus, not even a card. All right, so uh, Des Moines, Iowa. The, I think Fairfield has been doing this for years. Like, I think I've had some old, old repackages that was them. Then we have another one, and then I grabbed three. There were six there. I decided to leave a few just in case some people come by and want to grab some. I also grabbed a couple of blisters because we never got that Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. We got uh, a couple of those. Then I got a couple of Duelist Nexus because we still need to grab the Magician of Bonds and Unity. So we got four packs here extra. These were still like 450, so they were very expensive. I spent like 60 something dollars to grab 10 packs. So not great in terms of price per pack. So that's why you got to use my link down below with Sassy Auto. If you guys want to grab any new products or even older products on his store, go use my affiliate link. And uh, there's a lot of time we have discount codes as well when the new stuff comes out and it will save you a lot of money buying those boxes versus the single pack from Target. Also uh, grabbed a Legendary Collection 25th anniversary from my uh, sealed collection and we'll open it up so we don't have such a short video because there's only 10 packs here, as I said, for 60 something dollars. Okay, we have our promo. I guess we can start with this, see if we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is, oh, I ruined it. It's the back. Uh, hey guys, it might be the Blue Eyes. See that blue back? <laughs> nope, it is the Obelisk the Tormentor. Got a little distracted there. Still a pretty awesome one, probably my favorite looking one. I think it looks really awesome. Obelisk the Tormentor, beautiful 25th anniversary. Let's check the back real quick, see if it's, is it, is it clean? It's pretty clean. They always have scratches on these though, unfortunately, which is a little sad. Those are actually gonna be hard to grade, I think. Okay, now we have all of our different packs. So let's start off with one of these and just see if we can get lucky and pull the legendary Dark Magician that we never got before. Here we go, Dark Magician art, by the way. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic, please. Be in here, it would be epic. We've opened some error packs of this, so we know it's possible. I think it's two from the back. Be cool if we could get an error right here. We have Sage of Strength. By the way, go check out the error video. We opened error packs, they had no name cards. It's pretty cool. We also got a pretty nice 25th anniversary pull as well. Sage, and we have a Herald of the Pure Light, just a super rare, nothing too crazy. All right, let's do a dark crisis here and see what we can pull. Uh, it's gonna be hard to like make our money back on any of this because it'll be a little bit easier with the legendary collection because I have it at a little bit cheaper than the 60 something dollars per pack or six something dollars per pack. 
Dark Bishop Archfiend, here we go. A lot of these Dark Crisis cards are actually kind of expensive on the 25th anniversary TCG side because they didn't get a booster box and they have their own separate area in TCG player. So you can't list like regular Dark Crisis cards there. So they're actually kind of short printed in a way. Not short printed, but like they don't have a booster box. So they're not like overflowing with listings. So I noticed that the uh, dimensional what is it? Uh, the thing Kaiba uses is like the uh, interdimensional matter transporter, whatever that thing's called. It was listed at like $21 for the low ultra rare because I guess just nobody's listing them right now and there's just not a lot on the market. So very interesting to keep an eye on. If you do have some dark crisis cards, you might want to go list them now. Uh, Zumo Zorus. We have the greed jar. Let's get Duelist Nexus. Please give us the 25th anniversary. Anything I would take, but the uh, magician bonds in unity. No, we got a Emperor Charles the Great ultra rare though. I'm not mad because that is not guaranteed. That's actually a decent card we will take it okay spell ruler time here we go 25th anniversary baby give us that a blue eyes tune dragon we got malevolent mystic plasma zone gaia power giant turtle who feeds on flames ancient one of the deep forest queen bird nibble manga oh and the relinquish let's go the man or monster or spellcaster technically himself the relinquish this is an epic card one of the best cards in spell ruler very awesome that is about as good as it gets right behind the blue eyes tune dragon we'll take it Woo! relinquish ritual that's super sick uh but also want to mention uh i wouldn't recommend buying these blisters probably if you have access to buying like you know a booster box or legendary collection which sassiato should have some listed it just the the math doesn't work out but of course if you know you're the target and you're just really feeling it it's fun to grab them that's Look, I did it, you know, <laughs> I did it too. We have Performal Pal, we have these Sprite Smashers for the Sprites, and Golden Rule, there we go. Do unto others, you would have them do unto you. All right, Pharaoh Servant, let's go. Can we get Genzo? We have Bombardment Beetle. We've already gotten a Relinquish. This has been a pretty good start. Respect Play, Metal Detector, Minor Goblin Official, 3 headed Gita, The Thousand Eyes Idol, World Suppression, Force Requisition, and we have a Bubonic Vermin, the little rat scrambling around. Okay, last Duelist Nexus, then we'll get into those new blisters that we found at Target. Can we get something awesome? One, two, three, gotta believe. The Nemleria Louvre Storage Pod. We got the Aqua Chorus, Double Headed Dino Rex, Makanko Spirit Walk, Evil Zor Leos. Oh, that's Ruxin Special. We ruined it. Sentinel of the Testina. Just a super. No. So it looks like we will still be searching for those 25th anniversary cards we've never pulled. All right, we got a few more packs here of my legendary collection I opened up. We have Metal Raiders here, my favorite set of all time. Here we go, King of Yami Makai. Thunder Dragoon, Flame Cerberus, Armored Zombie. Check out that armor, pretty impressive. Pale Beast, Ruxin 34 has made an appearance. Very nice, Big Eye, The Unhappy Maiden, Mask of Darkness, will we get that Gate Guardian? Summon Skull, Be Skull, any of those. Ooh, our Harpy Lady Sister, super rare, not bad. We will take that. It's no Pale Beast Ruxin 34, but it is not bad either. Super rare has been pulled. All right, it's time to crack open our first Legendary Collection blister pack with two packs inside. I'm excited to see what this bonus card is, even though I know it's going to be a garbage card. But you never know. Maybe they put up a Kanyo in there thinking, you know, they were... They were fooled by its appearance. They thought it wasn't very good. Okay, this is definitely a new card. Will it be complete garbage? I think so. Okay, ultra rare from a starter deck, the Golden Sword Soul. So yeah, pretty garbage. If it's from a starter deck, then it probably isn't that crazy. Pharaoh Servant, in terms of value at least, it might be a good card, but uh, they didn't cost them much to put that in there. Deep Sea Warrior, we have Doku Ruyaiba. Sky Scout, Shadow Eyes, we have the Dark Fire Soldier, Numero Dos. Spike Bot, Attack, and Receive. The Recovery of Monster, and we have Jinzo. Ooh, a mirror wall. All right, our first pack as a first foil. Very nice. Mirror wall is an epic card. So many good memories using it in Duel Links. It was a crazy trap card for a long time in that game. Just having the attack with only 4K life points. If you lose like half your life points on an attack, you know, it's pretty bad. Okay, now we have a blister LOB versus a uh, LOB that I opened out of a 25th anniversary. So let's do this. Let's start with mine and then we'll go into the blister I just bought. We have the 13th grave. Lesser Dragon, can we get a Blue-Eyes White Dragon? I, they're pretty hard to pull. I think I've only pulled two ever, and we've opened a lot of these packs. Violet Crystal, Skull Servant, Dissolve Rock, we have Vile Germs, Dark King of the Abyss, watch out. The Arm Ninja, watch out, the Blue-Eyes is coming. And 
Oh, another super flame swordsman. This is super central out here. Not bad. Flame swordsman. His fiery sword is very epic. Very, very nice. All right, that leaves us with the Blue Eyes Red Dragon pack from the Legendary Collection Blister. What do you call this? Legendary Blister? I don't know. One, two, three. We got a Flame Swordsman. That's, I mean, if you get nothing, you're not going to be Flame Swordsman. You got to get something like an Ultra, probably. Memorial number two, maybe a secret. Dragon Treasure, Yurabi. Remove Trap. We have the Lotus. Beast Fangs. His fangs have been removed. Watch out. Nimuruki. Nimuriko. I got it. We have the Arm Ninja. Here comes the Blue Eyes White Dragon yet again. And. Oh, I thought it was a Flame Swordsman. Gaia, that will do it. Gaia the Dragon Champion, secret rare. Oh my goodness. That's some nice fusions. LB has a ton of fusions, and these are the only two foil fusions you can pull. We just pulled both of them back to back. So I think that means the 25th anniversary Blister wins that one. All right, last pack that I have from my uh, legendary collection, and then we have four more packs out of these two blisters coming up. Invasion of Chaos. We don't usually end with this one, but that's because I just had a feeling about this one. Will it have the Chaos Emperor? We have Chaos Necromancer. That's a good start. Boganian. Spatial. We got a hero emerges. Watch out, hero players. Dawn Turtle. Enraged Battle Ox. The Battle Ox is raging. And. Dude, what? So many foils. This is insane. A Chaos Rider Gustav. I don't even remember the last regular rare we've had. That is insane. It's so regular rare, because obviously we get a regular rare every pack in these. All right, next pack. And speaking of regular rares being in these packs, every once in a while on like TikTok or Instagram reels is when you'll get a comment like, fake pack, it has a rare in it and a foil. And I'm like, uh, sorry, sir. That's how they work now for the last six years. <laughs> okay, here we go. New card as well. Looks like probably another starter deck card. Yep, another starter deck card. Okay, that's all about the Albaz deck, which I guess the other one was too. I didn't actually look at the abbreviation, but those were both from the Albaz deck, which isn't even an old deck at this point, unfortunately. Pharaoh's Servant, let's go. PSV, let's get that Genzo. You gotta believe, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, and let's do this. Genzo time. Insect Barrier, it's not a Ruxin video without the Genzo. You guys know. Kizita, that little finger. Watch out. Drill Bug. Drill Bug and Kizita might be related. Check this out. I think they're related, might be. Solomon's Law Book, okay. Very, very wise man. We have the Dark Sleep, Science Soldier, the Gust. Life Force Sword, stop that Exodia. And finally, will it be Genzo? There's our, there's our last regular rare, Dokuro Yaiba. We have, uh, yeah, we've had a regular rare pack. All right, LLB, that's okay. Blue Eyes time will happen now, straight out of target. You gotta believe. Alessio Drogo, Wasteland. That's a Ruxin special, follow in. Umi, Mystical Sheet, Numero Dos, Tyone, the Root Water, his water is rooted, the Spirit of the Harp, and finally we have, 13th grade, I jinxed us, now we're getting all, we're getting all rares now, it's my fault, our final pack, Whew, Target bless us, we've had some pretty good pulls so far, a secret and a super, out of these, now all we need is an ultra rare, and the one ultra rare we're looking for is the legendary blue eyes, I mean there's a lot of other ones I would be happy with, but, Final card. Will it be a starter deck card? <laughs> Same card. Okay. Yeah, those that bonus. Yeah, awesome. So basically these are being valued at $6.50 each plus tax. So really $7 each because those, you know, those cards are not worth anything. The extra one card. So basically you're paying $7 a piece. So a booster box would be seven times 24. So you're basically paying $148. That's quick math. So it's probably wrong. $148 a booster box if you bought 24 of these. That's insane. So yeah, now's the time to go check out Sassy Auto because his booster boxes are not $148 or whatever I just said. 20, wait, no, that's not right. 70, no, 148 plus, I did it wrong. Yeah, so $7, four times, 168, 168, I fixed it. 168, that's even worse, dude, that's over double. So yeah, do not buy these blisters. Don't buy them, guys, I'm gonna save you now. Like, I know they're fun, just buy the booster boxes, wait like two days and you'll get them. Insect Imitation, we have Drill Bug. Wing Weaver, wow, that is expensive. Invitation, seven completed. Overdrive, come on, we're gonna get a Genzo. It's all gonna be worth it. High Boots at night and Deep Sea Warrior. Okay, we didn't get a Genzo. It's not a Ruxin video, guys. The final pack, the $168 value pack. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get something crazy. Come on. LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes. We have Forest, One Eyed Shield Dragon, Violet Crystal, Sparks, Red Medicine. The Petite Angel, Rude Water. We have the Flower Wolf, and finally, one more card. Blue Eyes White Dragon, arise from the pack. Here we go. Ah, oh, 
another beaver warrior a 168 dollar beaver warrior shout out to tone info show daxter jt show puffins of doom ernesto deanna america doyster supreme sage 21 cj leo gwine 62 another tie show ian musa junior barney mimic gecko and robert f thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace